Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the questions about engineering hydrology and the chapter will be precipitation. We are going to uh, draw a mass curve and a hydrograph of a storm. So uh, let's solve the question. First, I'm going to write the uh, data as are given into this table. Let's write it. So uh, I'm going to, here you can see the, there's a, a 5.30, yeah five hours and 30 minutes later of uh, start. So we are going to uh, write here as between five and six, okay? So let's write it. This is going to be time. This is going to be delta D and this is going to be delta T and this is going to be intensity. And this is zero. And between zero and what? Three, okay? And uh, between three and five. And between five and six, because I'm going to uh, just write between five and six, I don't need to write the 530. And this is going to be uh, between six and seven, and it's going to be between seven and eight. So let's write the delta D. What is delta D? Delta D is the depth, uh, so rainfall depth between the two specific hours. So this is between zero and three. What is that? 24, right? Um, between uh, also 24 is 30, uh, sorry, this will be a millimeter. Yeah, I forget to write it. Um, between the five, uh, 3 and 5, it's going to be 6. Um, between uh, 5 and 6, it's going to be 7. Um, between 6 and 7 will be 1. Between 7 and 8, it's going to be 0, okay? So let's write the delta T. What is delta T? The time differences between the two specific uh, hours. Okay, it's going to be between zero and three. What is that three? Between five, three and five, what is that two? Between five and six, one. Between six and seven, one. Between seven and eight is one. So let's uh, calculate the intensity. Intensity is the ratio of delta D over delta T. So 24 over three is eight. 6 over 2 is 3, 7 over 1 is 7, 1 over 1, 1, and also 0. So now we have intensity, so let's uh, draw the hydrograph and then we are going to draw the mass curve also. One second. I'm not good at uh, drawing, but I'm going to do my best. Oh, it gets. So this is, for example, this is three and this is uh, five and uh, this is six, seven, and also eight, okay? So uh, between zero and three, what is that eight? So we're going to get reach to eight. For example, this is eight, okay? This is eight and um, between three and five. What is that? Three and five is three. You can see the value of intensity. Uh, for example, this is three between three and five. So between the five and six, what is that? Seven. For example, this is seven between five and six. So this will be seven. And we have between six and seven is one. For example, this is one, okay. Now this is the hydrograph of our storm. This is intensity in millimeter and this is time in R. So now we have the hydrograph. This is the B. Okay, so let's uh, draw the A. For the A, we are going to also again make a graph. And this is three, this is five, six, 
seven, eight. And for three, what is the, we are going to take the cumulative of delta D, okay? Take the cumulative of delta D. 24 between O and 3, okay? Between 0 and 3 is 24. So let's write this 24. The point of, the match point of this, uh, both data is this one. So let's uh, write the next one. Between 3 and 5 is 6, 24 plus 6, 30, okay? 24 plus 6 is 30. And this will be this point. It is just approximate because I don't exact, uh, I don't draw the exact values here. Uh, so uh, between five and six is also seven. So it's going to be thir thirty-seven, right? It's going to be here thirty-seven between five and six. And this will be this point as we're going to be 37. And between the six and seven, it's going to be one. And when we take, when we, it, uh, mat, uh, sorry, when we get the summation of 37 plus one, it's going to be 38. For example, this is 38. Between, uh, sorry, yeah, between six and seven. So I would like to check it. And also we have between seven and eight again thirty seven. So yeah, sorry, yeah, thirty eight. Between seven and eight, thirty eight. Nothing can change. Nothing is changed. So we are going to get as continuous. Uh, so now the the mass curve also. We draw it. Mass curve is like that. You it, you take the delta d, the first delta d, and then you get the cumulative summation of them. This is zero. Okay, you take the first delta d and you take the summation of them until you reach the total the total rain that uh, comes to the earth. Now this is the mass curve. So uh, let's calculate. It says that if thirty five percent of the total rainfall becomes surface runoff find the volume of runoff in meter cubic from this basin 30 percent of rainfall is runoff so what is the total of this amount what is the total rainfall total rainfall okay is 38 millimeter over 1000 as one meter is you know 1000 millimeter and it's going to be 0 0.038 meter okay and now i'm going to uh, multiply it multiply it i'm going to take the 35 percent of this uh, amount and 0 0.038 multiplied 35 over 100 and this is 0 0.0133 meter okay this is the 35 percent of that water in millimeters or in meter so we are going to calculate the volume of that so it says to be in meter cubic when we multiply it when we multiply this value with the area of this basin so what is the area of this basin let's check 100 kilo, 120 kilometers square. So 120 kilometers square. That means that 120 multiplied 10 power 6 meters square. And this is also meter. And the result will be the uh, meter cubic. So 1.596 multiplied 10 power 6 meter cubic. This is the volume of surface runoff, okay? Yeah, surface runoff. Now the question is solved. If you like these videos, if you want to see more of the videos, please subscribe and share with your friends. If I did something wrong, please warn me. I'm going to fix it. Thank you for watching. See you for the next question.